Oh, that was so cool. Oh, that was, we're gonna watch that again. Uh, that's, we're watching that again. Hey guys, Andrew Berg here. For those of you who don't know, I'm a jazz saxophonist and teacher. In this video, I'm reacting to the song Pace by Nubaya Garcia from her Tiny Desk concert. I'll be honest, I don't know much about Nubaya except that she's a jazz saxophonist from the UK. If you saw the thumbnail, you know she likes plants. Grow, grow, grow a garden, grow it nice and tall. So this song starts off the bass intro, but because the audio is so quiet on it, we're gonna start just after that's over about a minute in. All right, let's get started. Okay, really quick. This might not be obvious. Except it's a lot of plants. Grow, grow, grow a garden. That drum intro right before um, right before she came in was really cool. Let's go back and listen to that really quick. Sound. I, I'm I'm impressed. That's a that's a solid tenor sax sound. Um, I like the style too. It's very like um, I guess it's kind of neo soul. I guess a little bit. I like how like smooth and kind of like vibey it is right now. Uh, it's really cool. It's good listening. That transition a lot. Um, so far, this is kind of cool. It's, it's had more than one style so far in it, um, and the grooves kind of changed throughout. Um, I also love how starting her solo now, or I'm assuming it's her solo right now, um, but by having the entire group consciously make the decision to start this new solo in that softer place, now it's letting her kind of build her own solo and tell her own story with that improvised solo. Okay, so again, this is, Del's already getting intense. Um, I said it before, but her sound has so much depth to it. Uh, I just, such a, such, so much resonance, um, with the different notes she's getting and everything. She has no problem playing down low register, bringing all the up in the palm keys. I love the whole, the whole kind of groove and vibe they set up with this too. Really good. Oh, that 
was so cool. Oh, that was, we're gonna watch that again. Uh, that's, we're watching that again. Okay, she reminds me a lot of like a, it's almost like a blend of like um, Michael Brecker and Joshua Redman. Um, as for like what she's playing right now. Um, she has kind of those faster passages kind of mixed in, in between these repetitive notes she's doing over and over again. The faster passages like that, those parts remind me a lot of Brecker, um, but the repeated note, that's something signature Joshua Redman in my opinion. Um, he, he loves doing that kind of thing. Just so you know, if you're ever out there trying to uh, solo and trying to figure out ways to build up um, anticipation in your solo and kind of build that energy, repetitive notes and chromatics, the two things you can do that really just like take it up to the next level and um, really kind of help build that intensity and in everything when you're playing. sound on the saxophone is amazing. I love her tone right now. Um, that's, yeah, I'm, <laughs> this is, this is good. All right, then right back down again. I love the um, <laughs> the pacing of this song. Um, again, the song's name is Pace. Pun was not intended, but I like it. <laughs> the pacing of the song is so cool. It's kind of have all these like highs and lows in it. I'm really liking the style of her music that she's doing right now. Again, the style's kind of changing again. This is so many different styles so far in this. Um, this piano playing is so staccato, very um, just kind of percussive with how she's with how he's playing it. Um, it's a really cool sound. We're gonna watch that build up again. Okay, cool. What I love about this group is how, um, as the, the solos are playing, the, um, the drummer and bassist are really following along and helping build that solo even more by giving their own kind of, um, feedback or like conversation um, while they're playing. Uh, it's a, it's, this is really impressive. <laughs> oh 
Okay, okay. He is so into what he's playing, and I love it. The entire group is into what he's playing. Um, such cool. It's so cool to see these people just having, just enjoying what they're doing so much, too. Um, besides the incredible playing that we've already talked about, just they just enjoy what they're doing, and he's having a great time. Okay, so here's what I think he's doing and why it feels so uh, effective with, with how, he's, how he's handling it. Um, he's playing the same kind of re, uh, repetitive line over and over again. And doing that um, helps kind of build that tension as well. And he's changing it each time, which is a very effective way um, to improvise. Uh, if you are new to improvising, one fantastic way you can improvise is take a small idea and just repeat it uh, multiple times. And each time, just change one small thing about it. It's a really effective way to kind of build ideas and kind of build that, that um, vocabulary that you have for your solos. If the audience hears something um, repeat multiple times, they can kind of grasp um, what's happening and it's really just kind of bring the entire performance up a level. That subtones that she had right there, that was cool. That was a low, airy sound. I love that. I just love so much how this group was able to keep these different um, styles going throughout. Um, and I know I used the pun already, but the pacing of it is so effective. Um, how they start off kind of in a lower place, build it up, bring it back down again, build it up, bring it back down again. It's such a cool way to do that. I really love the songwriting for this. Um, just how they were able to capture all that and how the entire group really was a part of that entire experience. Um, and kind of on that you know, roller coaster, if you will, through all those different places. Man, her soul was incredibly impressive. The piano player was also incredibly impressive. The entire group is so cohesive. Okay, overall, A+, 100%. I loved it. Dubai Garcia is amazing, and I'm kind of just I hadn't heard of her before this moment, um, but I'm gonna check out this album. I think it's her first album. Uh, it's called Source. Um, I was looking in the comments right now. Um, I believe the song is from that album, so I'll be checking that out because um, I want to hear more of it, and the entire Tiny Desk concert you can find, I'll put it in the description below if you want to listen to it as well. Thanks for watching. My name is Andrew Bird. Please comment down below if you have any suggestions for anyone I should be reacting to. Also, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified that I snapped up. One last thing. Practice.